Well, you know, it would sure be nice to be able to see the pictures a little better when I'm fishing in deeper water. You think Garmin could do something about that? Well, Rick Garmin has. It's called Picture Advance located in the traditional sonar menu. Have you rated my Garmin app yet? That's the least you could do for all this valuable information. <laughs> oh, hey, there we go. Let's give that a try. All right, so if you're like me, when you're fishing in deeper water, you know, the screen just seems to shrink. The fish get smaller on the screen, and it just doesn't, you gotta look at it a lot harder. But there's a feature called Picture Advance that allows more than one piece of data to come in per column. And you'll see that a little better when we go to the screen. For every ping that goes down and comes back up, it gives you two columns of information. So it looks like it's going faster, but really it's not. And so let's go ahead and go over that and I'll show you the A-scope and the edge on these traditional menu settings. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so if you're like a lot of us, you know, we turn the traditional screen on and we don't really mess around with it a whole lot. Let's take a look at some of the features that you got available to you. Go menu, sonar setup, and first thing I wanted to show you was the depth line. You can show that. And right there you can see you got a line. And if you touch anywhere on the screen, if you see something of interest, you want to know how deep it is, then it shows you over here on the side. So that's the first feature that might be a little underutilized. And you can use that a lot when you're honing in on suspended fish. The other one, go into sonar setup, go into appearance. There's quite a bit there. From there, you can change your color scheme. You can turn on the edge, you can turn on the A scope and the picture advance. And I'm not gonna talk about the fish symbols because if you're using the fish symbols, uh, I don't know what to tell you guys, but let's not use the fish symbols. <laughs> All right, picture advance, what I promised you. So on picture advance, you got a one to one, two to one, four to one, and eight to one. And what that means is every time that the sonar signal goes down and bounces back at the transducer on one to one, which is your normal screen, you can see the images are a little smaller. Now let's go ahead and take a look at two to one. Now, as you can see, the images got bigger, but it's also moving a little faster. That's because it's giving you more data per column or frame. They call it column. Two columns of information for each sonar pulse. But as you can see, it makes the images look a little bigger. And when you're deeper, that can be an advantage because that sonar is having to travel so far and so far back up, this can make those images look a little bigger for you and help you define fish. All right, so let's go ahead and set that back to one-to-one -to -one because we're fishing pretty shallow. And for most applications in shallow water, the one-to-one -one is going to be fine. So the second thing let's look at is edge. And we'll go ahead and turn that edge on. You can see that black line came on there. So basically what that black line is depicting is where the bottom contour is, where the actual bottom is. Because you can see these humps up in here those might be some rocks they might be some brush you know things like that now if you look that's a pretty thick line and those are real bright returns so that's probably a rocky bottom of course i'm on simulator so i don't know for sure but the bright returns in the thick line tells me that it's probably more of a hard bottom and if you get a thin line and dull returns that's going to indicate more of a muddy or a sandy bottom. 
And then if we go back, go back to sonar setup and appearance, there's one more I want to show you, and that's a scope. And that's a pretty cool feature. For those of you who are old enough to remember a flasher, that's basically your flasher. And it's it's kind of neat to watch as it draws out the pictures of the fish and of the structure. Where if you're looking up here in the white part of the column, of the water column, if you're looking at suspended fish, it's telling you where they are. Now the other thing that's doing, if you're wondering how that edge line works, look at this for a minute. That's the most consistent part of the screen right there is where it's drawing that edge. Going back to the menu, sonar setup, appearance. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like at four to one with all that turned on. See, it's moving much faster because it's giving you four images or four columns per sonar pulse. We can see how much bigger those return images are in the picture. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this back to normal. Turn the edge off, the A scope off, picture advance back to one to one. And okay, you talked me into it. fish symbols. There you go, there's your menu. So there you go, now you can see fish. But actually, I'm gonna tell you something. The fish symbols have saved my day more than once because my grandkids absolutely love it. And when they get bored and they get to running around, I turn the fish symbols on and I say, hey guys, tell me when we're going by a fish. And boy, they just eat it up. You know what I haven't done? I wonder what the A-scope looks like with the fish symbols on. Try that. Wait for a fish here. Oh, now there's not a fish in the pond. See, if you look up here at the A-scope, it's been picking some stuff up. See right up there? And out pops a fish. So the kids just really like that. So if you're having trouble with them, with them kids, turn on them fish symbols. But other than that, go ahead and rely on looking at the arches. Or at least that's my opinion. And there we go. And if you want to get rid of that, this line here, and remember that's not in the appearance, that's just up here in the sonar setup. You can turn that depth line off. So as you can see, those settings are pretty handy for the traditional sonar setup. So, you know what? I hope this video's helped you. And there's several other videos in that Garmin Sonar Series playlist that I think could really help you. So go check that out, go to my channel, go to playlists, and it's in there and there's over 40 videos now in there, just packed full of information on these Garmin Eco maps. So you know what guys, until next time, keep calm and hook them.